So, Tammy, I know that you haven't spent a lot of time up here at Northern Morgan, but, you know, I'm sure you have some good stories of maybe horses you've liked in the past that have probably shown here or anything oh, like that. yeah, because I would always, I would end up at Jubilee most of the time and we hear about who won New England and then pray that they showed up at Jubilee, and sometimes they did, yeah. you know, and that would always be fun to see those horses, but... Um, mostly, my New Englands have been spent, you know, doing ads for the horses that won at New England. Yep. So that special. was always fun, you know. And um, I didn't get dragged here until just about three or four years ago when Roxanne, my friend Roxanne and client, dragged me here. <laughs> you have to come. <laughs> How could I be this old and not have been here? And I'm yeah. like, well, I've been saying that every year for 25 years. Yeah. <laughs> just so couldn't get here. I, I have to say, I'm surprised that you've <laughs> not been here Well, more. a lot of it is timing. I mean, yeah. I'm get, I was getting Jubilee programs ready to go to press, or I was uh, getting Grand National program ads ready. I just couldn't spend the time away. Yeah. And then finally, I got old enough that I said, well, the hell with it. I'm just going to go. Park <laughs> walk, please. Park well, walk. I'm sure you're glad you did. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, it's definitely. Cool. It's been cool. fun. In fact, the horse I brought this year is the first horse I've ever had of my own showing here yep. in New England. It's so. a very nice horse. Too. Thank you. Thank I, you. I was impressed. Yeah, I, I really love him. So, you know, we'll see where that goes. It's really but cool. It's, it's too fun. bad we only have one in here, but it's an awfully nice one. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So, you guys, are you familiar with the, the, the judge panel system that they're doing right now? Yes. So can you explain a little bit to people out there? You know, there's three. Are you talking, are you talking about the majority opinion yeah, system? Yes, or yes. the Yeah, okay, yes. I've, I've, obviously, I, I'm yeah, a judge yes. also, so I've judged with it a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so what, I mean, because there's four judges, but three judges judge at a time. How does that right. work? Well, they're, they're rotating one person out each time. Thank and you. Um, walk, actually, walk, I, I, I should say, this system of doing it where they're rotating one person yeah. out, I don't think is used that much. Um, I think they do it at Far West. Yeah. Um, so I have never done it that particular way, but um, when you judge Oklahoma, you're assigned divisions. And so, you know, like I might do um, open park saddle, but not the junior exhibitor park saddle. Or, you know, they and, and I think they do a pretty good job of splitting those up so that um, you know who you're going to have yeah. in each of your classes when you're showing there yeah. also. But the majority opinion system is, um, you know, that was actually kind of started, I'm pretty sure, through UPHA. Um, um, if I remember right, it was Bob Ruxer um, who introduced it and um, I don't know if he developed the system, somebody else, I don't, I'm not sure, but it's, I think it's a, I, pretty I fair, like it. Right? I think it's a fair way of Can't assessing, you know, the horses Can't and, um, you know, if you're going to use more than one judge, you have to have a way other than just points or something yeah. like that, you know. Um, well, and they do and see three different classes sometimes. Right. If they're watching different yeah, corners different of corners. the ring. Right, yeah. right. Um, and, you know, the, I know there's a lot of controversy sometimes about, you know, if you, it's possible for a horse to win that it doesn't have a first place vote. Mm -hmm. um, but that horse has gotten, you yeah, know, you thank you very much. the Down most, the walk, you know, the, the majority, yep. you know, the highest majority of yeah. higher the percentages. Votes, in, you know, right. so. Um, well, you could have three first place vote, vote horses that all had tragic mistakes in the class, but two of three judges yeah. each didn't see the mistake that each of those horses yeah, exactly, made. Yeah. You know, I, so. I think, I think people that are interested in it, you know, really should, you know, look it up and, yeah. and find out. Um, how it works. And the other thing is, um, the YA, Young Adult, uh, mm -hmm. Young Adult Alliance, uh, yes. is they're trying to promote um, getting young people into judging. Mm -hmm. So, and there, it's a $1,500 scholarship. You write an essay of 500 words and they review it. And if you get chosen, they give you up to $1,500 towards doing uh, judging school. Right. So, what What's awesome about judging? What do you get out of it? Oh, I, I enjoy it uh, so much. Um, I think it has made me a better trainer. Yeah. Yeah. I think in a lot of ways because um, it's, it's shown me what um, it has shown me what it looks like from the middle of the ring. And so when you know that, it, uh, it's, a, it's a good thing to know. Good, yeah. Yeah. good perspective. Yeah, it's a good perspective. Of the Morgan Breeze so. here in New England, Fred and Peg Kelly. Sandy Scott, Jay Our Robbins. Oh, oh wait, this happens. Here's a Nittany's boogie tie. Entry of Michael Lee Fisher, Strasburg, Pennsylvania, and Ridden Victory.
by Kathleen. Oh, that was a beautiful ride. It really was. So Sandy, Scott Robbins wrote on Facebook, you don't know me, but I've always been a huge fan since 1985 at Old Orchard. The only time I'd see you, your perfect riders, was at New England. <laughs> wow. Mary Robinson wrote, yeah, William Woods, great school, class of 81. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's nice. Pretty cool. Very, very nice. Very cool. Well, I really appreciate you guys coming on the show and talking to me. It was really a pleasure. Yeah. It was, it was photo for, for me, too. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. It's a great time. It was a great time. We got great, great, great commentary tonight, and we just really appreciate your time, and we hope to talk to you soon. Very good. Great. Thanks, Thank you. It is a round of honor for the Park Saddle Junior Champion here at New England under the ownership of Michael Lee Fisher out of Crossburg, Pennsylvania. It's Nittany's Boogie Time and Kathleen Peoples, our Park Saddle Junior Horse Champion. Recipient tonight of the Lawrence J. Davidson Memorial Trophy. Diana, thanks for being with us. One more salute to the Junior Park Saddle Champion in Kathleen Peoples' ride on Nittany's Boogie Time. Congratulations, and Kathy, to you and Lynn and everyone at Waterford Farm. Can you tell me, can you tell me a little bit about your ride tonight? Oh, just so much fun to show this young horse. He's just, he thinks life is a party, and I'm happy to be able to show him. Where's your next stop from here? Ooh, good question. I don't know. They're talking about Oklahoma. Great. Congratulations. Great ride tonight. Thank you. So, Conk, we are here with Scott Nylinger of Lingering Hills in New York. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, guys. It's fun. Just two uh, entries one of my favorite to show in the world. Our amateur division. It's the How many English times have you uh, been to this show? Our amateur uh, I came a couple times Montana. to visit. Uh, I've probably been here 10, 12 times. Uh, probably 12 times. Uh, yep, yep. Well, this is interesting. We've got two Broadmoor entries in. Uh, nice Broadmoor entries. Wow, yeah. That's. Uh, Restless, he won his qualifying class, right? Yeah. With uh, Allison, Wat Allison Nordwatke. Is this, this Miss Seven Star? Yeah, this with is. Kim Kramer. Wow. So, Scott, when you're getting the English Pleasure horse ready to show, you know, what, what type of things do you try to work on or, you know, what do you like to see in the English Pleasure horse? Well, the biggest thing for me is, it, you know, is it open, is it amateur, junior exhibitor, ladies, they got to have a certain type to them, and the horse usually tells you where it wants to go. It's athleticism, it's attitude. And you got to take all that in, and you know you just train the horse and try to find the division that best fits that horse. And that's why all of us trainers try to train the horse, and then they either get bought and sold places that fit the needs of that trainer and that rider. Yep. So. So now, what, are you, what are you seeing in this class right now? You know, two really nice horses. Very. You're seeing the pinnacle of like the English Pleasure Amateur Division here. I mean, these are winners. They've been proven. They do their job. I mean, they just don't miss a step. Thank you. Now, walk, please and Down distinctly different in wall. that one is a gelding and one is a mare, and they certainly personify their gender. Oh, for sure. Yeah. The, the expression, the way they go, the way they carry themselves, it's, you can see it without even having to look hard. It's just the silhouette tells you what they are and the power the, the gelding has and the, how elegant the mare is. It's just it's very evident. Well, and these two riders are just about as good as they get. Kim Jern Kramer uh, flies this gal that's on our monitor now, flies all the way over from Austria and uh, to practice with her horses and to show out of the Broadmoor stable. And uh, Allison Nordwadke comes uh, from Atlanta and uh, up to Pennsylvania in practice. And uh, Jane Bennett, who is of saddle horse fame in Kentucky, comes and uh, gives riding lessons and coaching and, boy, I mean, drills the people at Broadmoor. I think it's on a six-week interval during uh, show season. And they Thank take you. her lessons, you now know, to heart, place. and they just do a great Down job. Okay, Scott, when we turn around, then you can uh, 
Yeah, and, and like that also too shows, you know, Mike bringing someone else in to help out with already what he knows in addition to, I mean, that just shows you the confidence he has in himself and then what, what the other instructor helps with. Well, he and Dwayne worship at the altar of James. Yeah, yeah. yes. And rightly so. Oh, there goes Rusty. Lights it up second way every oh, time. Oh, man. He turned for home. Yep. That's just about as good as it gets. And then when the mirror comes across, you know, she's going to put up a wonderful show. So um, this is a very subjectively adjudicated class just because of the two differences in their physical appearance, right? Yeah, three-judge system, you know, really fair system. You're going to even it out. And I don't really think you could pick a wrong choice, but it's, it's personal preference. Yeah. And, yeah. You know, when you go to Oklahoma, you're going to have a different different set. And this is, this is these panels' opinion. So and I think it'll be fair. Yeah. So oh, I, I think they've done a great job all week. Sorry, yes. Kayla, yeah, sure. go ahead. And and uh, Broadmoor also has a really nice two-year-old park harness horse right now. Yeah, I saw that one. That one is really nice. It didn't miss a beat. They uh, they got a great one right there. Um, <laughs> it's and when you see a two-year-old come in and you Down think it's an open place. park harness horse, you know you're doing something good. <laughs> <laughs> so I understand you have a really nice park park horse too. Tell me a little about that horse. Yeah, I have a four-year-old park saddle horse um, it's uh, CBMF defying gravity uh, he's by crown prince out of uh, something wicked and this is the second show here this is no this one, is this mare out of something wicked Saturn? no uh, something I think I think the crown prince is that no never mind okay well we make stuff up as we go along sometimes you can nod up and down and say yes if you like yeah, you got to have an information room here. Let's go the flow. The stuff that we need. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Someone fix a teleprompter. Okay. So tell me a little bit about you, that horse you got at the farm. Uh, we got him from uh, Copper Beach two years ago. Um, he was a two-year-old out of the field, and he's come along great. Carolyn, yeah, Gib Carolyn and Frank Gibbard own him, and they give me all the time I need with him, and it's, it's great when they just let you say, hey, do what's best for the horse. Uh, he's only went to Connecticut. He did really good there. We come here, and he's starting to light it up. He's going to be he's going to be an amazing horse for a long time so you're, you're showing him in the open right yeah i didn't we, obviously we ju i just missed I, that's why i'm going to the open i just missed the other class <laughs> well but i decided you know it's you don't get those type of horses very often and i thought this was a good year to do that and he can he should be able to hold his own hopefully he uh he likes the dark and he likes the lights <laughs> we'll, cool. see the, we'll see tomorrow that's cool. see how good a decision that was I wouldn't want to be the judges in this in this <clears throat> ring right now. Oh man, I, I yeah. I mean, it's you get a position where the other two pick it, and you you pick the other one, and you're like, huh. <laughs> so well, it'll it it'll be curious to see if they announce unanimously, because if they do or they don't, nobody's right and nobody's wrong because they both put on a wonderful both quality mix. quality horses. Exactly. You can't go wrong with this. Yeah. Yep. 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 And those girls are buddies. And, uh, and they're competitors, and neither one of them wants to take second. <laughs> right. I'll tell you that right, right. now. Same barn, they're yeah, going to hang it on the same thank banner. Thank you very much. Nicely done with the English horses tonight. We'll have you relax, retire to Well, and it certainly left. bodes well for the uh, left, fellows please. at Broadmoor and the, and the whole crew. Those gals have been showing since they have been kids. Yeah, I don't want to say what, what years they started, right. but it's probably been right. a little while. But the, Oh, and there's Kathleen Cable, and she's given the... Um, trophy for her dad Mark Hanna. Mark Hanna yep. I think I saw and a picture of her in Walk Trot they have around these yeah. rings. The yeah. pictures around this ring are amazing. Well and Art Perry's been here forever and ever. Peter will is uh, he'll probably tell about uh, the ribbon present. But Kathleen I think was supposed to be in this class and I think her horse had a little bit of a um, sore tootsie and yeah. so he couldn't come back. <coughs> that's what I, I, she had an amazing yeah, yeah. That's yeah. A nice horse. I was like well you put that one in here and then that's just going to add to it. He had an amazing qualifier with Heavens Michaela. Whispering Ammunition dominated this division from 2003 through 2005 with triple wins in a row, and that was the $10,000 Amateur English Pleasure Championship. He won all three. <laughs> Great lift, just Tony, beautiful, for the both of them. Ranch in 2010, them also in 2012. Look at Gold Little, it's like, oh Prime. Don not with us is Phil Fountain judging, but uh, watching on the live feed. And uh, Greg Cliff Tony in 2010. The enthusiastic with uh, Paul Messier in 2011, and just a year ago was CBMF Restless, the entry of Allison Wanke. 
We welcome to our winner's enclosure for the presentation of the Mark H. Hanna Memorial Trophy, Kathleen Cable. Kathleen is the daughter of uh, Mark Hanna, and uh, she's joined in the winner's enclosure by Art Perry. Our event tonight, sponsored by Kathleen, Hobie, Kevin, Sean, and Tony Hanna, the family of Mark Hanna. We'll make the presentation to the amateur English pleasure champion tonight. All three judges agree. It's 133. It's restless. And Allison Wonke. It was unanimous. As the amateur English pleasure champion tonight. It was unanimous. That's Officially, so interesting. It, it, it is sometimes tough for Allison a mayor Wonke to, to just put up in a the Atlanta, presence of Georgia. these gallons and in the irons and, uh, this They just got that different look to yeah. Year in a row. yeah. They grace our winner's circle as and this the guy is just loaded with personality. Yeah. Look at his, look at look at his expression. Yeah. Mike Gobig a of great and way of going. And it's funny, the three, the three young Cable ladies in the ring right now are all really good friends, too. Yes, exactly. Of the exactly. Mark Memorial Trophy. Reserve honors tonight going to 146. Here's Ms. Saturn star. Aww. Kim Jern, Vienna, Austria. With a nice ride Oops. to finish She's a hot, as hot, our hot, reserve hot, hot. champion. Hot, hot. Kim says, come up here. Yeah, this whole ribbon thing with her is, is sometimes uh, where her girlish personality comes out and says, you know what, boys and girls, I have behaved maybe as long as I'm going to. Kathleen Hannah Cable, uh, along with Art Perry. There Thank you very Good much job, for gracing Kim. our winner's circle. <laughs> and it takes Art a village. And Kathleen, always nice to see both of you. A couple of friends from the yeah, West Yeah, you put a horse in this class, it, it better have some quality. Oh, sure yeah. You want to get in the top two. Yeah. Great fond memories. There could have been Hannah 10 Perry. more in here, and these are probably the two that came out. Right oh, yeah, I'm sure. New England, as we will celebrate now with the champions from the Amateur English Pleasure Division from Vienna, Austria, Kim Jung. And Ms. Saturn Star. They are meant for each other because the I mean Kim is English full of you know what and vinegar too. Champion and reserve, <laughs> both from Broadmoor. Allison Wonke, congratulations. Yes. Second year in a row. The chestnut horse marches down victory lane <laughs> as oh the amateur boy, he English just loves this, doesn't he? Here at she New knows England. how to handle these Second yeah, in her first Mark H. Hanna Memorial Trophy. From Atlanta, here's Allison Wonke and CBMF Restless. Oh, Jane Shiflett captures down the round. moment a cool for yes, Sydney Owen, Allison Wonke, <laughs> and the group at Broadmoor, Mike Gobing. So we're going to get a little interview from her as she comes out of the ring. Oh, that is great. Boy, that camera looks nice, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I want to catch them when they're right out of breath. That's oh, yeah. the key. <laughs> yeah, it's sweating them. Look at her, look at her. Congratulations, Allie. I love Rusty and I love seeing you show. Can you tell me, whoops, can you tell me something about your ride tonight? Oh, never. <laughs> You're the, <laughs> where are you headed next? I'm home. <laughs> Congratulations. You had a nice pleasure driving win this afternoon, this morning, afternoon. Yeah. Uh, your, that was this afternoon. Yeah, yeah. with your uh, light colored horse. Yeah, that's a, uh, RWJ Gabbana, he's a really nice horse, chestnut flax, and he's... Yeah, I love the way he's colored up. He's really, really cool. Oh, oh this is like Millennium Force. Yeah. yeah check oh, and this Dave is, oh, with um, uppercase cleat. Yeah. Class yeah. underway, and now a timeout. Now, he won his qualifier, and what about... Um, she won the ladies. Oh, and I right. I believe that was from... Um, she didn't go back in the ladies' championship Time because it was pushed charged. over to the next morning, and then oh, the championship right. would have been... Too close. I got so, you. I got you. But he also looks good enough to go in any yeah. pleasure driving class. Yeah. Who is that? Is that the Fox Hollow? No. That is. And 192 that moves back to the rail. Our attendance on the way out. Just oh, this is Millennium Force. Oh, that's the one getting, that won the enhanced. Uh, oh, oh, <laughs> yep, and also go. the junior horse Underway driving rotation. Some nice horse. With Huffer, John and Bell. John did a pretty good job. I say that. Yeah. Cool horse. Okay, Scott, what are you seeing here? Because these two are kind of different as well, so just uh, speak to us a little bit on... Yeah, I mean, this guy, with the way his neck shapes up, I mean, it's just, it's hard to find Morgans that just can set up like this and be balanced up front and behind. I mean, he is, he's about as hingy as you make him. Yeah. And then this one is fronty, it's shoulders laid back, it's back behind his shoulder, it's just, it's different, but it still just exudes quality. Exactly. Typing. Yeah. Stepping out right from out of his shoulder, 
just doesn't look like it could not look like that. Right That's what we look for. Exactly. It just doesn't take a lot of work to get it. Although and it takes a lot. They both have really nice cadence for driving horses. Oh, yeah. It's nice and round. And, uh, I mean, probably. you're looking for the extension, too. Yep. And he has extension. Oh, man, he is cooking it. But it's the ears, it's the tail, it's, it's everything that you're looking for. Yeah. And David loves this kind of horse. He really can make him shine. Yep. Keeps their mouth quiet. Yep. Having a good time. Never backs an ear. Yep. And here goes Ann. She's, she is right in the mix, folks. Thank you. Now walk, please. Down to the walk, please. And now reverse with a pleasure driving entries and continue to walk, please. Drivers reverse and walk. Sardi Morgan's Clayville, Rhode Island, sponsoring the Pleasure Driving East Coast Championship. Now, speaking of driving, what did you think of the Kohler four in hand? They're pretty impressive, aren't they? I don't know. How, how, how do you get them around? Is it four reins or eight? I'm not even sure. Four. Is there four? Yeah. And they have splits that go to, to uh, each one, so you've got the you know left and right. And then at the Ys and the splits, then they adjust to each side of the bridle of each one of the horses. Choosing the time period where they used to do the pairs and all that stuff. Exactly. Oh. <laughs> well, they race Caleb, everything. <laughs> Caleb, I miss you. I miss you too. I love you. <laughs> Driving championship. <laughs> Marin get classes, you name it. They're yeah. all oh here. Oh my God. The Justin Morgan class. Yep. <laughs> oh yeah. Bring the mare out with all generations of babies she had. That's awesome. Yeah, Dam and Produce and Sire and Gap. So what year was your first year here? 57. Oh my gosh, you're old. Oh, I know. It just it seemed was, like yesterday. About it was me and Ben Don. <laughs> <laughs> Where I live in Florida, uh, in the wintertime, obviously, we have a great influx of people. Road, and whenever I see a Vermont license plate on a car, I sort of, you know, will walk up to it and ask people, oh, where are you from in Vermont? So one day I, it was outside. Because you're from Vermont. I'm from Vermont, yes, that's correct. Yeah. So lo and behold, we were in front of Walmart. I was going to get kitty litter, and uh, there's a Vermont car parked in front. And there's one elderly gentleman. Oh boy, what a great pass! So you're you're a cat lady, not a dog yeah, lady. That's correct. Lady. Okay, I that's just, correct. <laughs> I see that. <laughs> Thank you, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> and proud of it. No, there's not around cats. I like that. So I asked the gentleman, I said, hey, where are you from in Vermont? He said, Windsor. And so I said, oh, I said, um, did you ever, you know, I said, you know, how long were you in Windsor? Oh, dear, I mean, he was there from aught six, et cetera, et cetera. I said, uh, did you ever know any people, a family, um, one of the fellows that was Ted Davis, and that was Ben Don's owner at uh, Wincrest Farm. He said, I worked for Ted Davis and his brother at, T at Davis Chevrolet for 35 years. No way. And he knew all about Ben Don. That's and awesome. He, Small was, world. That is crazy. It was fun. Small it was great. World. Yep. Morgan's reach all over. Indeed. Yep, yep exactly. Well, this and Rick too. Howe that works with Tim Keller here, the blacksmith. Yep. Parents live like six blocks from me. Down yeah. Florida? Yeah, Winnie and, and uh, Weezer. How? Winnie and Weezer? Yep. That's a they band. are party animals. You want to see them dance? They are fabulous. <laughs> yeah, no one, Rick. He seems really wild, huh? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Another tourist class, but I, it just, you might as well just have these two in here. They're oh, probably the best we got. Yep. Nice horses. Totally fabulous. Yeah, tons of quality. Everybody, t every step was uh, syncopated and and certainly demonstrated what you know pleasure driving and exactly. open pleasure ho driving horse should look like, but. Um, their manners were wonderful. They could be in the amateur division, and, and uh, well, Ann won the ladies' class, so obviously that horse is of that ilk where his manners and his quality and his suitability for a lady are oh, uh, yeah. within just the qualifications as and well. It just looks like you could get in the cart, and it's just going to be fun. Like, yeah. if they yeah. walk out of here and let me get in, I'd just like to take a spin. Yeah. <laughs> it just doesn't look like work. It should exactly. be fun. Yeah, Pleasure cool. to drive. But they have show fun. You know, with their heads elevated even higher and their ears just, you know, sitting right up on top of their head and a smile on their face and just really ticking off those steps. Yeah, and we're asking for animation and all this, but then still suitability and manners. Yeah, yeah and to do everything correctly. Yeah. Wonderful. You're going to stick around with us for, uh, we have Amateur Park Saddle and Park Harness open. I'll stick around as long as you want. You <laughs> stay right here, my <laughs> friend. 
Results now official. Class 100 I'm just trying to stay away from, from Mark Bodner so I don't have to buy him a 12 pack. <laughs> yeah, he already hit me off. <laughs> Friday right. evening yeah. program has been sponsored by the Sardi Morgans of Clayville, Rhode Island. Special thanks to Rob and Roxanne Sardelli Greenway and the Sardi Morgans of Rhode Island. We welcome to the winner's circle the East Coast Pleasure Driving Champion tonight. It is a unanimous decision for Millennium Force. Wow! Unanimous. Wow. Oh, that All is. All three judges agree and Benson. That is very Millennium exciting. Millennium Force, the yeah, East nice Coast here. Champion he from the Pleasure Driving Division. Right yeah. Entry zone by Roxanne Sardelli oh, out of so Clayville, exciting. Rhode Island for the victory. Nice round of applause for the reserve champion tonight. Here's 192. It's uppercase Clayton. Entry of Dan wow. and Leslie Great Kelly of Minden, Massachusetts. Great. David class. Rand, the whip. Uppercase Clayton was the champion just <laughs> Look how proud one he year is. ago. He's is he still a junior yeah. horse? Yeah. I think he's four, isn't he? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what a good boy. He's got a good, he's got a show career ahead of him, that's yeah, for sure. Indeed, exactly. And, you know, a wonderful team. Ann has worked so hard, and Roxanne has been in the business for so long and been, you know, such a wonderful supporter with her Morgan. So. In Benson, congratulations. Yeah. We call and she has the daddy, too, does not she? Yes, yeah. to make their way down. Oh, look, look at him. He is friend. on the money, honey. Ladies and gentlemen, this is... Isn't that great? <laughs> <laughs> He's a sport now. Nice horse. All right, we'll, we'll see what she has to say when she comes out of the ring. Oh, yeah. I don't know if she'll be able to stand around very long with a driving horse. Hi, Ann. Congratulations to you and Roxanne and Rob. Can you tell me a little bit about Millennium Force? He's awesome. How's your drive tonight? It was a blast. Congratulations. Thank you. Welcome back, Born to Boogie, to Northampton Center Ring. The beautiful multi-titled world champion being presented once again by Lynn and Kathy Peoples and assisted by Christy Nava and Sarah Hall. In wonderful condition, beautiful order, he's as pretty as he was when he was the world champion stallion. How about it one more time for Born to Boogie? I know you remember this story, but we'll review it tonight as he models in that familiar winter circle where he stood so many times. Boogie was born June 15th of 1990, and yes, that does make him 24 years old in front of you tonight. How about that? In great condition and great health at 24 years of age. Sired by a TVM, I promise. And out of the mayor, Jess Coaston Countess, who was bred by Richard and Pamela Reinling of Houston, Texas, has been owned by Brenna Watson of Concord, Massachusetts, since this horse was three years of age. Boogie has been trained and presented by some of the breed's top professionals. Bob Keller with us here at Northampton tonight. Bob showed this horse to the Junior World Champion Stallion title. Mike Gobig drove Boogie to win the UPHA three-year-old Park Harness class right here back in 1993 in a thrilling performance. Sammy Hazen was fortunate enough to present this beautiful stallion to the senior champion and grand champion stallion here at New England in 1994 and the senior champion stallion once again a year later in 1995. In 2002, Born to Boogie, this time with Lynn Peoples leading, again won the Grand Champion Stallion title here in Northampton. Lynn also led him during his beautiful retirement ceremony in this ring in 2005. <laughs> Throughout his career, Boogie has competed in hand, under saddle, and in harness. He has won 25 Grand National and World Championship titles. He is enjoying a luxurious retirement living at the Timber Hill Stables with Christine and Sarah. Earlier today, Boogie was described by former trainer Mike Gobig. Mike used just two words, dynamic, charismatic. 
Ladies and gentlemen, Boogie is once again being presented wearing the roses he won when he was crowned World Champion Stallion in 2002. One of the greatest show horses this breed has ever seen, and as pretty as a Morgan can be, salute the World Champion born to Boogie. 24 years of age, and proudly strutting down Northampton's grandstand ring. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, send out one of our best champions. Yes, sir. Trip down memory lane with the great Born to Boogie. Lynn, thank you so much for presenting Amateur the world champion stallion. Tell me a little bit about Boogie and your relationship race. with him. Here's the call. Well, I always admired him, and then after I worked him for about two weeks, I had a whole different view of him. I was in love with him, have been ever since. He's the big-hearted little horse that ever lived. Uh, he will always rise to the occasion. That's the call for the and amateur. There's a bond that'll never be broken. I, I appreciate your time, Lynn. Thank you so much for presenting him. And France, the traditional call in all of our park or formal classes. Oh, that was pretty special. It's just really neat to see one horse with so many good trainers and just light it up for everybody for 14, 15 years straight. Good horse makes the trainer look good. <laughs> yeah. Right, Scott? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Making it real smart. <laughs> Well, there was a big, competitive, wonderful amateur park saddle qualifier class. So, uh, Bring on the amateur riders, yeah, there were nine the in the qualifier, and it was stacked. It's is next. no one's wants to go home with loser here. Exactly. And hopefully, most of them will come back in and uh, show us another wonderful class. Oh, that's. Still two to come now, down at that Oh yeah, we are gonna have a good collection. Gathering. Amateur riders, feeling the warmth of that Friday Sun's down, lights are on. Yep. Park Saddle Championship. And it is a gorgeous night. This is gonna be a great class. Next to the last class, and we get the harness horses class. One to come to round out a field of nine. Thank you very much. Well, there's Great nine back, Scott. Everybody's Jeez. here, amateur riders for the championship. I think that's the horse that won the qualifier. Trot, please, Buck Trot. Who won the qualifier? Ah, uh, Tara Good. Yes. Yep. Is that? Oh, Crown Prince is in here. Yep, Chip's daddy. Yeah. There's a couple world yeah. champions in here. Oh, in yeah. indeed, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So, Scott, now tell us about what you look for in an amateur park saddle horse. Well, I mean, it's good seeing the amateur angle's pleasure and then coming right into this. It's just, you know, you're looking for a little more animation. You're looking for that l extra attitude. And it does take a little bit more to get these park saddle horses around than the English pleasure horses. But, yeah. Amateur riders, thank you. Down to but, the park walk, please. Park but the reason walk. they're park horses is because they do have that extra innate talent. You know. Right, I mean, that's why they don't have to have the flat walk. I mean, they, they're just, they're bred this way. I mean, this is usually the goal to try to get these types of horses. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And we have the old trickle-down method. If, they don't, <laughs> yeah. if they don't make it park, well, then <laughs> down we go. That's right. It's not Catcher so much down. Maybe it's a Catcher. linear yes. uh, divisional selection. Right, I mean, the goal is to go park. Down. It's, yeah. yeah. That's why the show ends with the park. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no bucking. Yep. Okay, so since it's an amateur division, tell me about how you would work one so it is mannerly for your amateur rider. Well, it, I think some of it just comes from, like, with age. You, you don't see a lot of amateurs on a junior horse. you got to work them, get them so they're well-behaved. They just need, they need hours on them. They need time. So you need to get them good and broke, but also not broken up where they lose that edge. I mean, that's, that's what you're trying to get. It's, you want to have that fine line of looking dynamic and hot and cool, but not so broke that they look kind of boring. And that's, oh. it's tough. Well, I love the line, so they look hot and cool. That is a great line. I'll be stealing that and giving you no credit. <laughs> that's fine. 
Um, so now when you season them, do you season them by taking them to shows or do you season them by the trainer working them at home and then the rider comes, the amateur comes like once a week or once a month? Well, I mean, or? really it does depend. We always say it just depends on the horse. I mean, I have some that like the, the customers come once a month. Some, they got to ride twice a week because they're, they're tougher. I mean, some horses, they just, you need to get a good bond. You need to ride them a lot. Some are easier and the rider's really good. You don't want to get them flat. Yeah, so, exactly. You know, you'll, what we do is you'll get them worked hard, get them in good shape, and then just don't bore them out by working them to death. Come to a show and let them have fun. Just, so it really just does depend on each horse. They're all, everyone, every trainer in here trains all these horses a little bit different. Yeah. Now, how about keeping them sound? Is it harder to keep a parkour sound? Yeah, I would say if you had to take the average, um, if you had 100 park horses and 100 classic horses, just the amount of energy and power and they put so much into it. I mean, they're slamming around. I mean, they're, it's, an ex it's the extreme part of our sport. Uh, we're, at, we're asking them to exaggerate their neck, their head up front, behind. So when you do that, you're just pushing the boundaries, I think. Okay, okay. But they're also bred for this, too. Right. I mean, it's not like we're forcing them into this. It's... They're bred to do it. It's just you, how easy it, how easy does it come? Exactly, exactly. You know, that's kind of an interesting comment. Is uh, when you talk to people that um, you know, sort of, you know, they're gullible relative to some of the negative things that they hear about um, horse Catcher disciplines, ladies. race horses, and and um, now you know, jumpers, and etc., etc., et and that they get a bad rap. The thing is, if a horse is unsound or is not a happy horse. Uh, regardless of how many pharmaceuticals you do or do not use, they are not going to be winners. Right, and then that doesn't get pinned, so you don't, you won't see them. I mean, that's that's the whole goal. Is you do not want to have, you know, unhappy, unsound horses out here. I mean, exactly. that's not our goal. And if you use, if they're if they're getting unsound and you're you're pushing them too hard, and it's and that's more of some training. It's also some dynamics with the horses. But Riders, if you, you can get a horse to yeah. move like to this and keep it sound, it's. Yeah. It's meant to do it. Yes, and it's a beautiful thing, and it's fun for everybody, and, and you come out with a great ribbon. Ladies and gentlemen, one more truck. Oh, here Let's we go. One more, more truck. Come on, Molly. Good class. Nice class. Nice. Nice that a girl. And this is sweet to see nine park horses. Oh, in the love it. Yeah. How often does that happen? Love it. Oh, is that superstition? Yeah, uh, I think it was he second the other day, second or third. I missed that. Yeah. That's Springville Ring of Fire right there. And I think he was in the top three. Yep. Then with Kurt, I believe the whole time, right? Yep. I think so. I remember when he's a junior horse. Yeah, he was amazing. Yeah, yeah, he was was so that. Yeah. Is that that's Queens? That's so neat. Special thanks to the Cabot Morgans and Rick Lane of Gray Main for supporting and sponsoring our amateur. Park Saddle Championship. Right on and down. Wonderful class. And then we'll wind up tonight with another park class, Park Harness. Yeah, it's a great way to end the night. It is. I've been bull riding tonight. Oh, so dear. That'd be kind of interesting, huh? Scott, are yeah. you going to ride the bull? No, if I get hurt, I will be in big trouble. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> That's. Uh, well, don't you, because, you know, you, you only have another kid coming on the way, right? Oh, my. Yes. We have one lane, year and a half boy. And the other one's a surprise. It's due right in the beginning of October. <laughs> we really planned it perfectly. <laughs> right, for, right for Oklahoma, right? Yep. Nice. <laughs> These things happen, dear. Yeah. They do, yes. Yeah. Yep. That's so cool. And we'll find out what it is then, too. Stu, um, now, speaking of kids, do you have any particular bloodlines that you like to work with uh, uh, better than others and for different divisions? Um, not really. It's, I mean, you can have full brothers and sisters and get them right out of the field, and they just act different. I mean, there's... Certain bloodlines, certain people get along better with. I mean, I've just had so such an, a wide array of horses that, yeah. it, and that, I think for me that's good because I, I'm used to just working and adjusting for each horse. Yeah, you have so to. That's adapt. really important. You just can't do the same thing, same thing every time. You got to adjust every time for each horse. So how did you get your experience? You know, I, now you're home, back home, but where where have you been in the past? Well, I mean, my mom had a little barn and she's always trained and had other jobs, and so I mean, she just put me on a kid, just like. Our son Lane's already riding. Yep. You know, and th that's what she did with me, and it just grew. And we, you know, built an indoor arena and just started putting stalls in and getting clients. And then, you know, my mother's always sent me away. I went and worked with Mike Gobig and a lot of a lot of really good trainers, and they've taught me a lot. And it just cumulative effort just from everybody and everything we've been doing. It's that's how I get here. That's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Family business.
Okay, people, uh, Facebook, like us on Facebook, comment on Facebook. Uh, it'll come through in real time, and, and uh, our boss man, Shane, will read your, your comments. And if you have questions for us or, um, you know, people that you would like for us to gather up and, and uh, come to our sound booth here, our video booth tomorrow afternoon. And, oh, a million thank yous to the, our Seahorse people. They are the yeah, ones that great. are mm -hmm. videoing for us. And uh, Taylor River is a, a very supportive sponsor for for Horse Show Wire, we appreciate their efforts. And and David Rand, yes. Yep. And Mr. Scott as well. Yep. Oh, check writer, yep. thank you. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank I you for your. Yeah, I wrote it personally. You are a good man. Yeah. Good. You you didn't bring it in rolls of quarters like. Uh, <laughs> we yeah, like Caleb <laughs> was. Yeah, exactly. Jeez. Exactly. Bring a <laughs> bunch of nickels over here. <laughs> By the way, but if anybody wants Conky's number, I can give it to you. Oh, mm -hmm. put it right up on the yeah, website. 5309. There you go. Yeah. I want to get her on the bull tonight. I think that'd be awesome. With oh, the hair, yeah. I think you might win. Your style points. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> yeah, we're all we're all about style points. Exactly. With right? the fake bull. Exactly. Yeah. Eight seconds, lady. I'm gonna blow the <laughs> horn. I don't give a damn what you do with your hair. Uh, Are you bet on anybody? Wait. Uh, I didn't bet. Him. Yeah, right. I'd bet on my brother, but I'd probably probably gonna lose my money, so I'm not then, going there. I don't know if that's a good bet. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know either. I I heard he's gonna do some pretty wild things because it's 50-50, your time and then what you do. So. Oh, then yeah, oh, then that's a good roll of the dice there. Yeah. You know, so mm -hmm. he might win, but you know, I'm not gonna. Yeah. By default, probably yeah. if he does. <laughs> <I guess. laughs> uh, well, they've done it at other shows with great success, haven't they? Was it? Was well, the that Calcutta what? the same thing, or they just do it for fun? Oh, I don't know. This is a, they got money online. Yeah, they got money. People put yeah, bets on it. Don't, 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 don't mess around here. What's the definition the of Calcutta? Morgans? I don't know. Oh, right. right. I think it's well, a place. Just, right. They had a Calcutta English Pleasure here a few years ago, and you put the pictures of the horses out, and then you bet who you think is going to win. win. So 10 people can bet on the same horse, and you got to try to outbid them. So the same thing when you're riding the bull. Oh, oh, oh. And then it's 50 The Yeah, I guess 50%, and then the... The winner splits 50% with the person that had the biggest bet on that. Okay, so. okay. So yeah. the yeah is the is the Young um, Adult Alliance. They, exactly. And yep. Jim Sebring was here last night and sharing his information. And they're yep. doing a great job. And you're gonna start doing videos for him, yeah, right? Yeah, doing all the videos for them. We did um, a video with Harry Sebring on the proper way to fit a horse to a work harness and to a show harness. Wonderful. Um, and it was really a success. So we're hoping to do some more videos here in the near future. So yeah, I saw those videos. Really good. And it's. It's in depth. It shows you, and it also is explaining why too at the same time. Yeah, and like the even like the you know the traditions and stuff like that. It's really cool to hear that from somebody that has so much knowledge of the breed. You know. Right. I mean, it's not just saying to do something, it's saying why to do it, exactly. and you know, there's also adjustments. You don't just put a martingale in the same spot every time. I mean, you you have a certain area you're looking for, but a certain horse with a high head, you're gonna want to let it up if you want to bring it down and in. I mean, it, yeah. it's the dynamics of the horse that change. So, you know, it's good the way to he he explains it is that it's. This is an area. Yeah, exactly. it's, it's changeable. It's really cool. Oh, that was a blast. I, I'm looking Wait. forward to the, uh, the the future of that for sure. Just got the word from the boss that the bull riding is going to be videoed tonight by uh, Horse Show Wire, and it's going to be aired tomorrow night, half hour before the show. So starting at six. Okay. So the whole tomorrow thing is live, and they're going to show everything, huh? Yeah. yeah, we got to As take long as it's appropriate. That's, you know, you <laughs> probably want to put that on a delay or something, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I would imagine. <laughs> Is that because the, the bull riding's right over by the bar, I believe, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's. Yeah. You yeah. might want to delay it. It would be interesting. And thank you, Lauren Cook, for Facebooking. Lauren says, big thank you to you guys for the live feed and commentary. For those of us at home, it makes me feel, it makes my Friday night at home almost, capital letters, feel like a championship night under the lights in Northampton. Almost. You guys are awesome. Well, Lauren, you're awesome for sending in that wonderful comment. And Scott Robbins, oh, Sandy, uh, Sandy Sessick, who was here a couple minutes ago. Um, oh, okay, has been a big fan. And I think Scott last night was uh, having a cocktail with us, wasn't he? <laughs> yes. He was. Yes, okay. Uh, so Scott has been a huge fan of Old Orchard. That's Sandy's farm since 1985. And the only time I'd see your uh, perfect riders was at New England. So thank you, Scott. And we also got a big thank you from our Syracuse uh, International uh, Horse Show. And we've got a, a beautiful looking ad on our Facebook page. And uh, it was very beneficial to the uh, number of entries that they generated at their show. And uh, they're appreciative. And um, uh, we yeah, it was a busy show this year. Yeah. It was great. 
they do a wonderful job. That's up in your neck of the woods. Yep, I took a whole bunch there. It's a fun show. We've been there for 20 years. It's, it's a great show. It's an hour and a half for me, but it's a fun show. Yep. Yeah, Peter, I guess he's getting ready to tie the amateur class. Classes earlier, on page number 141, the Amateur Park Saddle Championship with a complete listing from 1965 right on through 2013, a number of outstanding park saddle entries. We remember the three-year run for 3C Avenger and Kathy Gutting. Kathy Gutting returned in 2009 aboard Get Busy to be a four-time Amateur Park Saddle winner. Also, Tara Good with the Stand and Deliver, Mary Hill Homestretch for the Dan Free Farm, Queen's Soulmate for Queen's River Farm, Lamborghini in Black. Number of great, great horses, erotic dancer in 2005. It's time to meet the amateur Park Saddle champion for 2014. We salute 141. Who do you love? Tara Good of Watertown, Minnesota. Oh, Tara, she won the qualifying yep. class. Tara aboard Stand and Deliver in 2011. Yep. Returns tonight on Who Do You Love? Oh, fine. And receives all three of our judges' oh. first place votes. A well, unanimous I... win for Tara. And Who Do You Love? The Broadmoor Farm. Yeah, well, so obviously. Reserve honors in this division going to entry 199. Here's Queen Soulmate. Yep, yep. The second the other day. The Sandy second the other day. Queen's River Farm of Exeter, I Rhode Island. I missed that. The okay. champions from a year ago return now to finish as our reserve champion. Third is entry 274. It's CBMF Crown Prince. Oh, oh yeah, he stepped up. Duxbury, He's always the crowd favorite here. We'll yeah, finish up he third, stepped up. The reigning good, good, good. Good. world champion with Harry Sebring at the time. Yeah. In the fourth, yeah, 252, right. here's set to dance. Diane Garrow, the owner and rider, her home in New Wilmington, Pennsylvania, set to dance in the fourth. Fifth to 161, here's Spring Mill Ring of Fire. Chelsea Haber, Belchertown, Massachusetts. Six to 311, here's Spring Mill Superstition. For the Sugars Farm LLC of Brunswick, Maine. Nina Marlin aboard the entry. Superstition for six. Seven to 261, it's RDZ, Maggie Noir. Molly O'Brien with the Massachusetts. In the eighth award, that goes to 532, here's Lady Gaga from Georgetown, Massachusetts. I love that With name. Trisha mm -hmm. Morrison. Dye your hair blonde, it'd probably match. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to try and keep from it, but we'll take it under advisement, Scott. I could do, you would look good blonde. Oh, Lord. How about a salute to I see Cocky rocking out some Lady Gaga. <laughs> two worthy champions. <laughs> Sandy Dandy. And just a year ago, reserve champion tonight, Sandy Hendricks, Ray Rod, yeah, the yeah, Queen's very River nice. Farm, and David Rand, Queen's soulmate, the amateur puck saddle reserve champion. Ah, there goes my little buddy Toots. Just Tara. a few years ago in 2011, it was Tara Good and Stand and Deliver. Yep. Tara returns yep. to Whoop. victory lane in the she amateur puck saddle division. She does. Who do you love in Tara Good, your unanimous amateur puck saddle champion? She's another one that, you know, goes to the Jane Bennett boot camp. And boy, oh boy, they... They Let's are great riders. Look at her. Just good neutral rider just right sitting there, Under right in the middle. Not doing, looking yeah. like it's not doing much. Exactly. And doing a lot. Yep. We just can't see it. Yep. And that mare loves it. Isn't that great? Let's see what she's got to say out the OK. Yeah. Happy, happy, well, happy. We'll pause for the final time in our program. Just one class remains. And it is the park. There were two former world grand champion park harness horses in that amateur saddle class, yes. Superstition and, and Crown Prince. Yes. Yes. Congratulations, Tara and Toots. It's your first season together. <laughs> and you own the sire, and you now bred this champion. Can you tell me a little bit about your ride tonight? Uh, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> what are your plans from here? I uh, would just finish out the season. Congratulations to you and everyone at Broadmoor. Friday night program. The East Coast Park Harness Championship. Yeah. We have a total of three. Oh, to join us in Jack, the yep. Stretchy pants. That's what the grandkids <laughs> call it. <laughs> yep. Nice horse. He is. I mean, he lo he is a wheel horse for sure. Yep. I say he loves and, his job, too. And his Let's prefix is Mary out Hill, out and, and uh, Mark Bodner from Mary Hill was with us a couple so hours ago. Heads up now. Yes. Yep. Everybody 
Mike Carpenter right there. Yeah, He's, that's a Judy Whitney. Yep, Judy Whitney. Uh, Sandy Collin. Yep, yeah. and then there's HK Brass Ring. Yep, Kohler. He comes all the way from Colorado. The River's Edge people oh, love trip. Yep, Bob Keller and, and uh, Mary Cockrell and their great customers. Quality class right here. Yeah. And Jack, I mean, he Show just, he is Show such an excellent horse. reinsman. He yeah. just does a super job and loves his horses. And a great supporter of the Morgan breed. Okay. Oh, hi, Daddy. Oh, yeah, Sandy Cave. There we go. Oh, Julia. Yep. Hi to my daddy, Scott. Doing a great job. Well, thanks, Lane. I really appreciate that. And for Sandy for summer camp. That was really good. She watched them all week. And and next Ju year, she can have two. <laughs> and Julia Stryer, <laughs> thanks for the awesome Saturday commentary. Wish I could be there rooting for all my family at Lingering Hills. Yeah, she won a couple couple classes here in Anna Oklahoma. Like good She's a great rider. Good deal. Okay. On the reverse. Here we go. Second way. The park Second direction in Friday in night's there. finale. Our park harness yeah, East Coast cool, Championship. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Driver's second way. You see that too often. Not very really often, no. Second direction. Here we East go. It's going to be good. Tonight. Showing it up. Oh, I'm telling you. He has really made nicely. Looks the part. And as a trainer, you got to have a lot of confidence in your horse that, to know you can go in here with the amateur driving and step up and, and yeah. really put it in here. Yeah, exactly. Oh, there goes Jack and Stretch. Yeah. Wow. Fabulous. Show your horse, please. Show your horse. Well, here's another class where it certainly could go almost any way, and I'll be curious to see if they, uh, if Peter announces that it was unanimous in this class as well. Yeah, just a type in the last two classes, and you really can't go wrong. It's just all preference. Yes. You're looking at. Yep. Because all three certainly are doing. They're doing everything correctly, yeah. They just have different style points. Yep. Yeah, definitely different. You got the big studly going on there. Drivers Very handsome. Return to the park trot place. Wonderful job in the Park Arnos Championship, our East Coast Championship tonight. As our three entries move to centering and the lineup, how about a nice salute for three top Park Arnos entries. Your applause as they move to centering, please. Wow, I love that class. Yeah, this has been some great quality tonight. Indeed, yeah. Well, as you said, Scott, it's New England. You, you know. better bring your best stuff here. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> he is a proud, you know, it's a proud horse and a proud driver. Uh, and last night we got a Facebook message from um, Allison Wright, and I, th I think her married name's Graham, and she's interested, as am I, in um, having an expert commentary on breeding yep. on, on our we panel. We need Nancy Case. That's what we really need. She's well, um, so far we've got Lynn Peebles. Good. You know, he's great, too. Exactly. And I mean, he's bred many, many world champions in many, many divisions. And, and he uh, he really has a, an excellent formula because he's got a very small broodmare band and, and a select group of stallions that he uses. And, and he really enjoys sharing that information. Yeah, and so he knows what he likes. Too. Exactly. And he's a good promoter. And so, Allison, we're going to have Lynn the trainer of the East uh, Coast Park on the uh, show for you tomorrow. Night. Night. That'll be neat. Yeah. Yeah. Chapter 14. And anybody else, you, you know, Facebook the same thing if you have since questions or uh, people that Mr. you would like for us Fry to, will to report uh, with put on the air. Okay. And we'll ask you just to relax for a moment in center ring. 
page 142, a complete listing of the champions from 1939, and I'll review a number of these great horses. Back in 1960, it was the Great Rapinesque, the entry of Joseph N. Hoyt. UVM Promise for the Green Meads Farm in 71, Ben Fields Ace for the Avery Farm in 72, the Buckeye for Campbell Lawrence. Saddleback Supreme for the Saddleback Farm, Phil Potts, Soberlick Timbalier. Arbar B. Lord Spence, multiple winner back in 1981, the fabulous Legacies Viking with back-to-back -back wins cool. in 82 and 83. Trudges Mr. Pepper Pot, it was a multiple winner. Flight Lynch? Sunrise yeah, for Lynch Diane Myers here. in 91 and 92. Serenity Masterpiece, Queen's Vanity Flare for the Hendricks, 95 and 96. Bell Flare, can't touch this. Bell Flare again in 99. HBK Courageous Flare, that special flare for Francis Pugh, one of three or four make it East Coast Championships. And uh, Crown Prince, you just watched in the uh, Park Saddle. And Spring Mill Superstition, all famous horses to win our East Coast Championship from the Park Harness Division. We welcome from your lineup to the right and on around Oops. to the winner's Thanks circle as we present the Noble Flair Memorial <laughs> Trophy. It goes yeah. to the unanimous East oh, Coast. See, you knew it was a good job, judges. Mary Hill Homestretch and Jack Gatewood. Nice yeah. Stretch Japan. David Rand, congratulations, oh. trainer of the winning Park Harness entry. Horse is like so consistent. Driver, yes, Jack oh, he, well, he loves his job. The East Coast on the saddle too. He, from he's the open to park harness division, and a unanimous decision here tonight. I say he loves his job too. It makes it even more fun. Christian and David Rand's just done a great Reserve job keeping him sound champion. and happy. Here's five hundred fifty-nine. JW standing tall. Oh, it's been a great yep, week nice. here for Heidi Kunkel of Webster, Massachusetts. Hey, Heidi. Heidi, Heidi always has nice park win. horses. Wonderful he does. drive, standing tall and, uh, is reserved. Uh, Heidi's Western They're horse won the Open last night. Like three years in a row. Yes. That's pretty awesome. The entry of Deborah Hurst yep, of San Diego, California. Good night. California. Yep. Deborah the whip tonight. Mike does a great job. Brass of rings will Andy. finish in third. Uh, Julie Shear on Facebook. Love, love, love these park harness horses. I'd take any one of them. Julie, we agree with you <laughs> a <laughs> million percent, my darling. Yep. Thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, commenting. Just by assist with the reserve champion, we'll enjoy two wonderful champions as they make the way down Victory Lane to close out our 75th anniversary Friday night here at the Grandstand Ring. Minutes away from the party and the auction, we have 10 outstanding items. Bill Carrington standing by. He will auction off all of the items. But first, we're going to send out two great champions on a Friday night to East Coast. Champions from the Park Harness Division, Mike Carpenter, congratulations on a nice drive. Here's JW standing tall for Heidi Kunkel of Webster, Massachusetts. Boy, he is built beautifully to be a harness horse. Long neck, yeah. looks like the right spot, good shoulder. It's very refined, nice way of going. Go Jack. He's used, to, he's used to this, being yeah. last one out of the ring. It's nice horse. For the powerhouse. The Dantry Farm of Howell, Michigan. Owner now, I Robert love his way of going of in front East for a harness horse. Yes, he rolls out of his shoulders. Very nicely, underneath himself. Yeah, and look at him. He just his ears. Super steady, very dynamic. Cool voice. Doesn't get much better than that. Really. Very masculine. Wow. Victory Lane to close out Friday night. Let's see what let's see what he has got to say. Yep. Congratulations, Jack. What a wonderful drive, being owner and the driver, winning an East Coast Park Harness Championship. How did it feel tonight? Great, really good. He was awesome. <laughs> Can you tell me where you head from here? Uh, more practice. And I'll get better. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jack. Wonderful drive. Congratulations. Thank you, sir.